Alright, hey guys, and welcome back, as this time we're off to the funny farm as I take a look at the Barnyard Commandos. Barnyard Commandos! Secret codes used by the rebel army of militant sheep. Code word. Dab. Uck. Duck. Code word. Lab. Uck. Ab. Out. Look out. Code word. Lab and Mab Ein. Landmine! Barnyard Commandos! Action figures from Playdate! Barnyard Commandos is an action figure line created by toy designer James Groman for American Greetings Corporation and produced by Playmates Toys in 1989. A 13-episode French-American animated series was based on the figures the following year, however the series was not successful enough to merit further production of episodes, and the series never aired on broadcast TV and instead went straight to home video on VHS with only four volumes being Apple Calypse Now, Back to the Farm, Treasure of Rampork Mountain, and Ultimate Quest. The premise of the Barnyard Commandos is that a bunch of farm animals consumed radioactive materials from a leftover military experiment, mutating them into super-intelligent anthropomorphic military troops. The farm animals consist of two opposing factions who constantly fight for the control over the farm, only to call a truce each day just in time for lunch and then back to the action. The two sides are the Rams, which stands for Rebel Army of Military Sheep, and the Porks, the platoon of rebel killer swine. The figures were all sold individually and came with an accessory that could be attached, as well as a humorous cartoon on the back of the card that served as a bio for each figure. There were two series produced for each. In the Rams Series 1 you had Sergeant Wooly Pullover, Commodore Fleece Cardigan, Major Legger Mutton, and Pilot Fluff Pendleton. In Pork Series 1 you had General Hamfat Lardo, Private Side of Bacon, Sergeant Shoten Sweet, and Captain Tusker Chitlins. Now in Rams Series 2, you had Master Sergeant Cornelius Cannon Fodder, Private Bull Bellwether, Commander Missiles Mutton Chop, and Lieutenant Sure Shot Sherling. And in Pork Series 2, you had Corporal High Ondahog, Staff Sergeant Blaster McBacon, Major Piggyback Gunner, and Captain Hog Wild. There were also four vehicles produced for the series, which were the Bacon Bomber, the Pork Chopper, the Porkapult, and the Ram Tank. No playset was ever produced for the series, but there was a Port of War base prototype, which was essentially a military base on top of a giant pig for your barnyard factions to duke it out. In late 1993, a series of toys were produced by Burger King in the form of wearable bracelets called Commando Cuffs that featured one character inside of a vehicle you could wear on your arm. By the end of 1993, there were no further talks of episodes in syndication or of new figures to be released the following year, and the series was essentially put out to pasture. Don't fret, though, as this wouldn't be the end of the Barnyard Battles, as on June 19, 2020, it was announced that Cloudco with partner Megalopolis Toys will make new Barnyard Commandos figures for the franchise. Alright guys, so now let's take a look at some of the cool Barnyard Commandos action figures that I have here. Now I got a pretty, uh, pretty good assortment of uh, the different figures from the main line, um, some with their accessories and some without and also even one of the ones from uh, the Burger King Happy Meal toys that you would have gotten. 
So let's take a look at uh, front and center here, and we have Sergeant Wooly Pullover. I love these. Uh, I love these goofy names. They just really make these little figures so much better. Now he would have had a little uh, Gatling gun that would have gone in on the back here and hung off the side, and you can tell he's totally. They're playing off like the Rambo. Well, yeah, of course, you know Rambo. Ha! <laughs> yeah, he's totally Rambo. He's got that goofy grin and the eyes. He's like, oh man, I've seen things. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. And he's got the uh, the red bandana and his uh, sergeant mark on the side there. And really cool. He's probably my favorite one out of the out of the bunch just because he's so expressive. And I gotta say right off the bat, I think these were made by the same company that made them as well. These remind me a lot of the Food Fighters lines. So if you guys haven't seen that video that I did a while ago, definitely make sure and check that out. But they're just such over-the-top, expressive, goofy figures and toys. And just look at him there, standing up on his hind legs. and Just that silly, goofy grin. He's just so angry. Somebody really, really pissed him off. What a cool looking little guy. I don't know why his le legs are green. I guess it's because of his military uniform. Otherwise, I guess he'd be pretty sick if he really had like green legs in real life. And these things are really squishy if you didn't know before. So like they're, they're all hollow and full of air. So really cool. All right, and now let's take a look at Major Legger Mutton. This is another silly name. Like a, like a leg of mutton, you go to a restaurant, order a leg of mutton. He's another one. Look at how angry he is. He's got the big horns and this cool color scheme, the dark brown, the light tan. And he's just hunched over, ready to ram into you. And uh, he would have had a, uh, a rocket launcher strapped to his back that he would fire with a big rocket. And again, check him out. He's got those those eyes just ready for battle. And that, that grin, urgh, it looks so mad. The rams, they're a mean looking bunch of uh, sheep. They're definitely not just your average ordinary sheep. These guys are angry. And just so funny looking. What a cool little guy. Very neat. Very neat. He's, he's really fun. I really like his weapon accessory too. I'd like to find that. That's, that's so cool. Just a big green rocket that he can fire off of his back. Very neat. All right, and this guy probably has one of the goofiest names of all. This is uh, Commodore Fleece Cardigan. Like, what a weird name. And I almost kind of think it was like maybe a typo when they came out with the character and just stuck with it. Because like he's got like, it looks like that's like a corporal. So maybe he's Corporal Fleece Cardigan. That would kind of make sense. Or Commander? I don't, Commodore. I don't, I don't get that. But uh, he's, another, he's another goofy guy. And he would have had like two mounted... Um, machine guns on each side, but some type of contraption that looks like it might have shot like, I don't know, like maybe grenades out the back or something? A really weird weapon on the back. And I look at him, he, he looks silly. He's got that silly little grin. Like He looks angry, but he just looks like he's up to no good. He's just up to no good. He's up to bad things. And he's got that green and the white camouflage. Sorry, the puns are just going to keep on coming. And yeah, he's 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 just he's just really cool. These guys, the the facial expressions are just so expressive. They're just so larger than life and in your face. Really, really cool. Very cool. All right, so now we took a look at the uh, at the Rams. So wink, wink, wink. Let's take a look at the Porkers. And this is my only guy here that has uh, the uh, accessories, and this guy is, uh, he's, he's really funny. He's a private side of bacon. What a goofy name. But he hopes he doesn't turn into a side of bacon. And it's kind of ironic, too, because his weapon is a flamethrower. So, like, I said, you know, you make bacon on the stove, so he's kind of playing into his own pun. And he just looks very chill here. He's got, uh, you know, the, the hoses and stuff on the top, big, big flamethrower in the front with the, you know, goggles, because, you know, safety first. And uh, different fuel tanks on the side. And he's got the uh, the pink and the brown color scheme, which looks like he might have been in some mud. And then you, just, you can take the weapons off here. And then we can get a better look at his face. He's got the, the nose ring and the tusk. Looks more like a boar than a pig, actually. But not a boar to me. Very cool. And we'll just give him his flamethrower back so he doesn't get caught helpless if the rams attack again. All 
Alrighty. And now this is one of the uh, the Burger King toys. And now this, he looks just like um, Private Side of Bacon, but this is actually, uh, I think, Major Shoten Sweet. And yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. Look at that, look at that grin. He's like, yeah, flying into action. And he's got missiles on the side here. Machine guns up front. He's in this big fighter plane. And these are neat because you could actually take them and you could put them on your wrist. I don't know how well this will show up. You could put them on your wrist and then, yeah, like you could fly them around and, you know, pretend that you're attacking the enemy rams or corks or whatever ones you got. And they're definitely really creative. I always see these a lot in like bargain bins whenever I go to thrift stores and um, like flea markets. When I used to go to flea markets, you'd see them a lot. They're kind of like forgotten, cheap toys, but they're really neat. Sometimes I would look them over and like totally forget that they're even uh, Barnyard Commandos toys, but really cool. It's a creative, creative idea back, you know, when toys were fun and you actually got toys when you went to a, you know, McDonald's or a Burger King or whatever. So really cool. We'll fly him back in position over here. And all right, guys, well, that's going to do it. Thank you for tuning in this week and checking out this awesome review of this great toy line by Playmates. Unfortunately, it didn't have a lot of success, but it's really fondly remembered, and that's the Barnyard Commandos. So I hope you guys had a lot of fun, and I'll see you back here next time. Hey guys, if you liked the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and you can follow me at Facebook at King of Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time.